Pulitzer Prize-winning Washington Post reporter David Fairhold on Friday raised questions about a mysterious surge in revenue that occurred over the past year at two of President Donald Trump's overseas golf courses. Writing on Twitter, Fairhold uses some recent financial disclosures from the Trump Organization to show that revenue at a Trump golf course in Ireland rose by 51% year-over-year from 2017 to 2018, while revenue at a Scottish Trump golf course surged by 87% year-over-year from 2017 to 2018. As Fairhold puts it, the biggest increases in golf revenue came where Trump needed the most, his money-losing golf resorts overseas. It's important that these two courses saw substantial increases, Fairhold writes, because many of Trump's U.S.-based golf courses and hotels saw year-over-year -year decreases in revenue from 2017 to 2018. What makes these two golf clubs notable is that Trump bought them both in 2014 as part of an all-cash transaction that totaled nearly $80 million. David Geltner, a professor of real estate finance at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, told the Washington Post last month that shelling out $80 million in cash for golf courses was highly unusual, as golf courses aren't guaranteed money makers and developers typically like to spread around risk by bringing in creditors to lend money. Additionally, James Dodson, a sports journalist who primarily writes about golf, told Boston-based radio station WBU Hour last year that Eric Trump told him in 2014 that the Trump Organization was not relying on American banks to fund its golf course purchases but was instead relying on Russian golf enthusiasts for cash. Read Fahrenthold's full thread below. In broad terms, it shows, dot, not much changing. The Trump golf empire, for instance, produces apt as much revenue per month as before. Pick.twitter.com slash 7WZTCJQ6VX, David Farenthold, at Farenthold, May 18, 2018. Here's our story, by the way, on those all-cash golf purchases, part of a massive $400 million cash spending spree by at real Donald Trump since 06 that defies real estate practice. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash 4 t c k h j m m x 3 David Farenthold at Farenthold May 18th, 2018 The DC Hotel is going gangbusters. But Mar-a-Lago declined, after big charities polled their galas in reaction to it real Donald Trump's assertion that there were very fine people among violent crowd in Charlottesville. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash xpwdg 78 rz 4 David Farenthold at Farenthold May 18, 2018 before Trump Org had been expanding mainly with licensed real estate deals overseas. David Farenthold at Farenthold May 18, 2018 That's what I noticed in Trump's financial disclosures. I'd be interested in hearing what other people spotted. And David Farenthold at Farenthold May 18, 2018